is he diseased, meaning the person who's inflicted with the saras, mm -hmm. right, because of his sin and weakness, or as a direct result of it, and, and what he does, or is it because God will, is it? it and the answer is it's a direct, it's a direct, um, uh, it's cause and effect. Right. He says like a whole bunch of, he sins, he says, he talks about Lush and Hora, he says terrible things, he has his own blog, and, and, and on his blog he writes all, all, all the gossip of what all the other Jews are doing in town, you know, somebody gets into trouble, you know, they, they, they get sued or whatnot, and it's, he's got to throw it right there for the whole world to see it, you know, mm -hmm. just because it's like filed in the superior court, like suddenly it becomes everybody's business, you know, and runs with it. So for that, he might be hit with, afflicted with a, with a skin disease and be right. taken outside the camp and savagely beaten by a bunch of young shirts. I've got some dead skin on my elbow. Maybe that's <laughs> I don't remember what they are. Anyway, I'd like to make a point. Okay, let's doctor. Talk, let's talk about me. So, I, I too have been sent outside the camp towards Judaism. <laughs> That was, just like, just that was like before this. you were Jewish, though. Even before, before I was Jewish, I was sent outside the camps like, we don't want your kind around here. Uh, why don't you go on? So when I got sent outside the camp and kicked out of shul, did I go, oh, that shul is so mean, or that rabbi is so nasty, I'm going to write Lashon Hara about him on my blog? No, instead I used that as an opportunity to spiritually examine my ways and to engage in in tshuva and to return, return to the true path of Torah and to perfect my character and to raise myself to the level that I'm at today where I can walk into any shul and be acclaimed. Wow, the butler's finally getting some offensive rebounds. Yeah, but they're not putting the ball in the hoop, so what yeah, is well, it? I've had that problem myself, that's why I take Levitra. No quest. Yeah. I, I mean, like Joe Biden is going around like the college campuses saying, oh, college campuses need to do more to combat sexual violence. And he says the phrase sexual violence like it's a bad thing. Like all sex has this, an element of violence and, and great sex has a lot of violence now. I think it should all be consensual. But like sexual violence, if it's consensual, it totally rocks. It's, Think about all the rituals at the Oscars. People dress up, they kiss the little golden idols. So, you know, so too religion has rituals. Like, like I, I, oh, I thought your point of that was going to be that the Oscars and Hollywood is, an, is a form of idolatry. I thought that's where you were going with that. Well, well, that's probably true too, but uh, let me tell you, I was dating this chick and she was hot. Here we go. <laughs> and we went to the opera at her invitation, and okay. so I dressed up, I wore a suit when I went to the opera at her invitation. Okay. And then we were kind of struggling with what to do about Judaism, because I was an Orthodox Jew, and she hated Orthodox Judaism, and she hated Judaism generally. But she was hot in bed. But she was hot in bed. So, I thought, let's compromise, let's go to Beth Am. It's a conservative synagogue, let's, let's try it out. And so we talk about going to Beth Am, and she, like, she emails me and says, is it okay if I wear jeans? And I go, yeah, would it be okay if, if I wear jeans, you know, to the opera with you? And then she got really pissed off at me and we never oh, went. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Why would you dress up for an opera but right. you wouldn't dress up for God? Right. I like that. Like, why would, if she went to the Oscars, do you think she'd wear jeans? No. She would let, well, we don't want to see any women in school with the dresses they wear at the Oscars. God doesn't have a problem when you fail the test of your Yetzirah. God gives you an Yetzirah that says, lady, I'm going to tempt you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick a bunch of really hot, smoking hot, uh, uh, black babes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send them to, to your house. Mm -hmm. Three smoking hot black chicks are going to come to your house. Mm -hmm. right? And if you fail, and you succumb to your right. animal desire, that's not going to tick God off because that's how He created you. That your limitation is like you know smoking black hot chicks. black yeah. chicks. That's you go crazy, right? Exactly. Okay, because that's the way He created you. Right. That's the way right? God made me. Right. You know, but there's other people that are like really into money. Like let's say like a Bernie Madoff, Madoff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And Bernie Madoff, right? He wants to like you know money and greed, you know. So like God said, here's a way that you can make like billions and billions of dollars, right? right? And 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 it's illegal and you're not allowed to do it. It's right. theft, right? But 
he went ahead and did it. So this doesn't burn God up so much because that's how he created the guy. Right. What would burn God up is if Bernie Madoff went after three black chicks because yeah. that's not even his thing. Yeah, that's not his thing. That's not his thing, right? Yeah. He like brought up like it's something that's not even his test, right? Or if you created a Ponzi scheme. Right, right. That's not my thing. That's not your thing. That's what pisses God yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Classical music is a crime deterrent. This is very Jewish. We're influenced by the music, mores, clothing, and behaviors of those around us. As Plato said, any musical innovation is full of danger to the whole state, nor to be prohibited. When modes of music change, the fundamental laws of the state always change with them. There's some truth to that. Tchaikovsky's, uh, w one of his concertos, they played it, one of his pieces, mm -hmm. and it caused a riot. You know, and, and, and look at like the punk scene, mm -hmm. you know, the punk music brought on riotous stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, the whole change in the 60s with like the Beatles and Rolling Stones, right? They had right. That, that whole thing right. going on. And then today you've got like, Rock. you have like, make it a move scene, make it a move scene. Yeah, look how that's done. Yeah. Got kicked off the Chabad telephone. Yeah, that's just out of real. I enjoy engaging in jocular humor with the ladies, saying things like, I can't touch you, you might be unclean. But that isn't really what the word tame means. So if I say things like that to you, like, oh, you're unclean, I didn't know if I can sit there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Have you ever had an unusual discharge from your penis? What do you, what do you, my, my black, my black woman doctor now? <laughs> it's in the Torah portion, perhaps a clear liquid or a pus. Or was it a dense substance that caused a blockage? No, I'm going to go with a no on that. Was it gonorrhea or the SIF or garden variety HIV? No, no, none of the above. I've never had those. Okay, no judgment. What about you? No. In the 1982 movie, My Favorite Year, the Peter O'Toole character is found in the women's room. And so some matron tells him, this is for ladies only. So he shakes his little fella, turns around and says, so is this, ma'am. I just have to run a little water through it once in a while. And that applies here because? Well, there's a lot of talk about genitals. Oh, okay. And that's a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. So Leviticus chapter 15 verse 18 says, And if a man has carnal relations with a woman, they shall bathe in water and remain impure till evening. Now, this does not sound to me like such a harsh penalty. Frankly, I wouldn't mind paying it for the right girl. There's nothing here about his soul being in peril or is sin making Jesus cry? <laughs> the woman does not become impure from semen entering her body. In fact, regular helpings of said substance help many women feel happy. The BBC reports, women exposed to their partner's semen during sex may find themselves feeling happier than those who use a condom, say scientists. Scientists in the United States believe the mood-altering hormones in semen absorbed through the vagina help to boost women's mood. Semen contains a range of hormones, including testosterone and estrogen, both of which have been shown to improve mood. Mr. Gallup said the findings may also apply to women who engage in unprotected oral sex and people who engage in anal sex, but he said further research was needed in these areas. And of course you want to volunteer for some of that research. Chas for sure. Okay. It is forbidden according to wait, the... Wait, 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 wait. Before we move on to the next thing, I want to discuss that a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, by the way, his wishful thinking there, like, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be the same thing. If, like, if they're willing to get ahead and do anal, yeah, it'll help them. You know, don't, don't have anything scientific on that, but I'm just... We just need further <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a theory there on that one. Um, I wanted to say that the Talmud actually, this is not a surprise to Jews because it's actually in the Talmud. Mm -hmm. It's in our oral tradition that uh, it says that when a man um, and woman have, when a man and a wife have relations, that he gives to her, he loses strength and she gains strength. Oh, that's interesting.